Hello everyone, this is Akaim and welcome back to some more World of Warships and today we are saying goodbye to the Hatsuharu. Yes, I am so looking forward to the Fubuki. I've heard so much good things about her. Um, so, I'm I'm actually about to sell the Hatsuharu right now. You will be watching this video, you will be seeing a couple replays. One that's really short, but kind of very funny. And one that is very epic as far as saving. You'll 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 see as the video goes on and we get to that replay, you'll see. So quick thing I do want to point out before we get rolling. I know this is a little side subject. Um heard today that update 5.10 has the new German battleships, which will be amazing. Uh I might do something special. I may or may not do a YouTube live, live, YouTube live, but I haven't decided. I want to really get going on the German battleships, and I might do, if if I'm working the next day, it probably won't be a YouTube live, but I'll make a special video. I'll do something special in, in for the occasion of the German battleships coming in update 5.10. So, yes, definitely looking forward to this, and definitely looking forward to the Vibuki. So, goodbye, Hatsuharu. I won't miss you. <laughs> so, enjoy the two replays, which my future self will be taking care of here shortly. I'll see you guys there. Welcome back to the last battle with the Hatsuharu, and today we are playing on Trident. On our team, we have a Turpitz, two Colorados, a Fuso, two Clevelands, Alba, Bajani, Benson, two Hatsuharu, and a Mutsuki. On the enemy team, there's a North Carolina, Colorado, Nagato, Arizona, Fuso, Miyoko, Cleveland, Nuremberg, Molotov, Buki, Sims, and a Hatsuharu. What? You want to do dishes now? All right, I'll be right back. Why do they have to do dishes now? I mean, these dishes are extremely dirty. They're gonna take a very long time to clean. All right, gotta clean dishes. They're very dirty, very hard to clean. It's gonna take me a little while. Take me about two minutes, probably even another 30 more seconds, hopefully. Wow, these dishes are extremely dirty. Extremely, extremely dirty. Very hard to clean. Why must we do dishes now? Very hard. Very difficult. Very difficult to keep doing dishes. Alright. We are back after doing dishes. And yes, this actually happened when I was starting this level. Starting this this game, I had to do dishes. So that left me pretty much standing here for a good two minutes before I actually got moving. So a lot of the other players have been around shooting and whatnot. I almost got ran over by the friendly Fuso behind us. But this allows me to actually kind of get in there a little bit late and allow me to figure out where everyone is. So right now we are going to be moving south. Our team with three battleships is moving down the east side and we have a whole bunch of other players on the west side but I don't think they're gonna do that well we'll see how it turns out so originally I had a another replay that I wanted to show off it was kind of a quick little replay that I was in very close combat with a enemy Mutsuki and I launched my torpedoes completely missed him second set killed him but my first set went and hit the enemy Pensacola that was driving nearby, so I got a double strike. But unfortunately, my game, uh, like, lost connection, so I didn't have the full replay. So right now, there is a enemy Fubuki, some, some odd reason, moving up the center. And, yeah, he's going to die very quickly. Yep, there he goes. A dead Fubuki. Don't understand why he moved up that quick. And now we have a enemy Sims that is about five and a half kilometers. Five and a half kilometers away. And I really don't want to get get close to them because close rain American destroyers can do a lot of damage very quickly. They have very fast firing guns and the Sims is a premium ship. So it is actually I believe the tier seven premium destroyer. So it's something I really don't want to deal with. And I've just now realized there's no high tier 
Japanese destroyer as far as premiums go. There's a Tachibana and the Kamikaze R, but nothing higher than that. But right now we finally decide to move in. He's getting hammered by the friendly Bajani. And hopefully we can sneak in and maybe do some more damage. It looks like, oh, I think he's on fire. And he just took out the friendly Bajani, which is unfortunate. But it, it, it happens occasionally. So we are about three kilometers away. This island's kind of in a way. But at the exact same time, we have four ships. I believe three battleships. And actually, it looks like, yeah, about three battleships. Yep, three battleships within seven and a half kilometers away. And this North Carolina is doing the old tactic of get in position and start reversing so that makes him a very easy target now if I was this North Carolina captain and I see that there a there is a Hatsuharu about seven and a half kilometers away I would you know stop reversing and start going forward so he's gonna be reversing this entire time trying I guess to stay uh, in a position not to get a citadel, but at the exact same time, he probably knows that I have fired torpedoes. And for any Japanese destroyer captains, don't forget you have guns. I mean, they may not do a lot of damage, but they can help kind of whittle down a enemy battleship like this. So right now, we are trying our luck, trying to get on the torpedo. And unfortunately, I'm catching the guns. Let's see if we can get... Oh, there we go. We got a torpedo hit on him. Caused about 11,500 points of damage. And caused flooding. So he'll have to use damage control if he hasn't used it already. And at this point, we're going to move out of smoke as quickly and quietly as we can. Because our smoke is actually just about up so we might as well get into position where we can launch another set of torpedoes hopefully get, do some more damage against this north carolina because the north carolina is going to be the top tier it is the tier 8 u.s battleship for anyone that doesn't know but hopefully most of you guys know what the tier north carolina is at so we're gonna try a our our luck we're gonna try our luck at firing more torpedoes towards this North Carolina. Hopefully we can do some damage. Now it looks like he is actually starting to pull forward. I think he's had enough about going reverse. So want to kind of take the opportunity to figure out where he's going. And this is kind of a trick with the Japanese destroyer line is you kind of have to figure out where your enemy is going. It's really mental. You kind of have to think he's gonna actually go one way even though the pointer the indicator is telling you something completely different so as you saw I fired one ahead and behind the indicator now my first set of torpedoes will probably miss honestly because he went to the left he went to port and that allowed him to miss my first set but my second set should at least hit with one torpedo it looks like he did spot them, so he did speed up. So only one torpedo does make contact, cause another flooding, as well as about 13,000. But this North Carolina captain is now dead. Goodbye. So that has removed the major threat from the enemy base. But if you look at the west hand side, let's go ahead and blow it up a little bit. It's a little worse. Our entire team on the west hand side died. All that's left, I believe, is that Colorado. I think he has been moving from the west. He's been retreating. And so there is a Nagato, I believe, an Arizona over there as well. A Miyoko and a... I believe it's a Stores memory service. No, it's a Molotov which is something I really do not want to deal with. But right now we are about seven and almost seven and a half kilometers away from this 
enemy Nagato, and he's going to be kind of a good target to focus on. Now, we do finally focus on him, and you can see he's starting to stabilize, and it looks like it's going to be good. So we're going to be launching our torpedoes, fired both spreads in very quick succession. Let's go watch these torpedoes, see how they do. So Hatsuharu torpedoes aren't the quickest in the world. Um, they are very slow, and originally my captain did have the torpedo speed, but it reduced the range. But when they redid the detection, I kept the same torpedoes, so they're the 10 kilometer variety. But still, it's still manageable to actually land a shot. Let's see, how many torpedoes does it take to take down a three quarters health Nagato? That would be four, and that gives us our very first kill of the game, plus Devastating Strike, which is very nice. But now, we are in kind of a pickle. There's only the friendly Colorado that is up here, defending, and all the other battleships, plus a destroyer, are down south, currently capping, or about to cap, and I'm yelling at the, well, not yelling, typing rapidly, cap now, because... I can't, there's no real easy way for me to hold off against a Miyoko and a Molotov. There's nothing I could do. So I do aim at the Miyoko and fired my first spread kind of at his indicator and the second spread kind of behind, expecting him possibly turning in. So at, after I launch my torpedoes, I do pop smoke because I want to try to help my friendly Colorado with being kind of invisible, trying to help him out as best I can. But let's watch these torpedoes. Let's see how these go. Now the Molotov is fairly narrow. And will he get hit? Ooh, yes he did. And at the exact same time, the Milko had taken a Citadel and turned and, oh, he's gonna take two torpedoes. And that gives us another devastating strike and double strike actually no sorry just a double strike which is something i don't really get very often it's you have to get a second kill within i think it's either five or ten seconds of the first kill and so it doesn't happen very often in this case that was just fantastic i wasn't even watching the torpedoes and yet we got double strike which is fantastic and if you can see on the chat that, yeah, I was very, very, very impressed with this. So that's definitely going to go on YouTube. Right now, we are capping. There's two battleships and a Cleveland, I believe, left on the enemy team. And when I was doing this battle, this was actually me just trying to get a battle that would be good for a YouTube commentary. And I was very happy. This was my very last battle with a Hatsuharu. And we're not done. Oh no, you thought three ships is impressive. Well, not really impressive. But double strike kind of blindly is impressive. I will have to say that. But we're not done. Oh no. So right now, we I am currently moving over towards, towards these other battleships that are kind of on the west side. The Colorado is currently heading south, trying to at least help defend his cap. Well, the enemy in Arizona is currently moving north. Now, I don't know exactly why he's pursuing his course north, because he's not a very fast battleship. He's, of course, a tier, I believe, tier six battleship where speed isn't really what she's known for so I don't know if he was hoping to go up and try to cap us or not so since the Colorado is going away from us the Arizona is much more likely target for us because our torpedoes don't have to travel as far without you know running out of steam so to speak so my aim is going to be on this Arizona, and hopefully we can land a torpedo hit. So I fire both at the indicator, 
And this is where things go a little bit wrong. The Arizona has altered course and is starting to increase speed as well. So my thinking is crap. He's going to completely miss those torpedoes. I need to entice him to turn the other way. So what best way is showing up on his map and forcing him to turn because he's thinking he is expecting torpedoes, but in fact, he's moving towards my torpedoes. So if we follow these in and watch this one, this one right here, you are a beautiful torpedo. And detonation. I feel so bad for you. A detonation on a battleship is rare, but it does happen. It usually will occur when a torpedo hits right below the main battery uh, area, but we're doing really well. Um, I don't think this Colorado is going to survive for very much longer. And so we earned a victory. We earned 314,379 silver, 4,017 XP, and 201 free XP. We got double strike and devastating strike. We caused 116,565 points of damage. We hit targets 27 times, hit torpedoes with 10 times, two incapacitation, four kills, eight floods, and two defended base. And of course we earned top of the team with a base X XP of 2,000. 59 caused 39,288 on the Gato, 23,000 on the Arizona, 15,000 on the Miyoko, and 7,000 on the Molotov, which was extremely lucky. And the North Carolina, we caused 29,000. And flooding, we only got about 3,000 points of flooding, which is unfortunate, but eh, it, it's it's something. It, it definitely helps. And so after everything, we earned 209,279 silver and 4,017 XP. And I am grateful to get rid of the Hatsuharu. I mean, she's not the worst ship in the world. She's not as bad as the Mutsuki. God, I hate that ship. But I am definitely looking to the Fubuki and you keep an eye out in a couple days. You should see the Fubuki video and hopefully we'll have a good game. I might do a live commentary on that one instead of a post commentary like I normally do. So if you like what you saw, hit the like and subscribe button. You guys have a great and fantastic day. Sai Jen.